It's time to bring in our political editor, Andrew Cladell. Andrew, good to see you as always. So, uh, stage three continues to rumble on. We've got the new uh, reports today that uh, Labor's going to be targeting coalition seats over it, trying to force that wedge through. But you've got some information uh, regarding, let's say, a, a ghost of Christmas past. <laughs> well, it turns out Kevin Rudd and Wayne Swan wanted to go even further than stage three tax cuts do, or the Morrison stage three tax cuts in terms of uh, giving tax concessions to the higher end. This is from the 2008-09 federal budget. Now, it's been referenced in the press the past couple of days. Kevin Rudd went to the 2007 election with an aspiration for a 40% top tax rate. We know it's 47 now with Medicare levy. It's 45. Kevin Rudd and Wayne Swan. The government has a goal over the next six years that by 2013-14, the personal income tax system will have a reduction in the number of marginal tax rates from four to three, a reduction in the current 45% rate to 40 and a reduction in the current 40% rate, which by 2010-11 will be 37%, to 30%. That last one was in the Morrison package. Yeah. The government also has a goal of increasing the tax-free threshold to $20,000. So, you know... It's not a Labor Liberal thing, is it? It's probably a Treasury thing that people in Treasury have been pushing for a while, that income tax is too high in Australia. Now, Jim Chalmers, I think if you asked him about it now, he'd say a lot's happened in 15 yep. years, but he worked for Wayne Swan. Anthony Albanese was a minister in that government, and that government wanted to go even further than stage three. I seem to recall Paul Keating also getting behind 40% as a top tax rate. Anything above that was, you know, anti-aspirational. That's right. And look, I mean... People in politics do change their minds, as we know. Paul Keating advocated in the early 80s for a GST, then won the unwinnable election in 93 right. against John Hewson's GST. I think it's fair to say income tax is too high in Australia. Whether you want to buy into this, you know, whether people should get a $9,000 tax cut or not, they pay an awful lot of tax. The easiest way to solve this is to go down the route of other countries and raise the GST, mm. the way John Howard set it up, and, and then reduce income tax. The way John Howard set it up, that requires the agreement of all states. Yeah. It would require an election mandate. They've only got a majority of three, really, in terms of the rest of the parliament, this government, so they'd never go that way. But that's real tax reform, not what's occurring yeah. at the moment. I mean, we do have one of the most progressive tax systems in the world. Uh, you know, the top tax rate in America is about 37%. In the UK, it's a bit higher than that. I guess we do have the health systems and the social service systems that are in place that we've got to pay for that the others perhaps don't. There's no way 45 comes down to 40 in any future, does it? No, but, you know, unless you do something about the GST. I mean, the, yeah. living in England, the VAT was 17 and a half. Mm. You didn't even notice it. Also pretty hard to increase a GST in inflationary environment, but mm. I think we'll see by the middle of the year there yeah. won't be... Uh, as much inflation at all. Those retail figures yesterday Ooh, yeah, for yeah, December. Yeah. yeah. So the economy is going the way Jim Chalmers and Tre Treasury want it to go. I reckon Jim Chalmers would have argued, let's not do this cost of living relief until July, just to make sure inflation mm. flattens out at ease. Well, now you've got this energy, the electricity prices coming down too, which is interesting. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. who would have who would have called that? I mean, yeah. petrol's back up, I notice. But... Yeah. Um, so no, I think it's it, it's telling. They're leaving most of the stuff, perhaps to the cost detriment of winning Dunkley, apart yeah. from announcing they're doing this in July, to the May budget, yeah. where they could probably do more now. Just on stage three, uh, Susan Lee, just on a short time ago, uh, moving away from what they're going to do, we're going to see the data, fair enough. But um, do you see ultimately them coming around and trying to push an amendment through, but ultimately supporting the... Yeah, the Labor's tax makes cuts. sense, and then say we'll come up with our own package at the election, yeah. which will remove some of these or uh, make sure mm. some of these tax rates are decreased. Yeah, that'll be the battle at the election. Mm. Uh, it, it makes sense. You can't you can't stand in the way ahead of a by-election of a you know sixteen dollar mm. a week uh, tax yeah. cut for well, low I mean, to middle income workers. I mean, a bit, if they do, it just blunts the Labor attack, doesn't it? Particularly if they're hitting those coalition seats. Yeah, I mean, in the next few days. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah.